haven't done one of these in a while, but ever since I've been a part of the Ulta Beauty Collective, the PR has been insane. So I wanted to sit down with you guys on my YouTube channel here on the Beauty Breakdown and do a PR unboxing. I've done a couple of these over on my TikTok and I thought, for this one, I'm going to sit down and share these with you guys. And as always, a big thank you to the brands that have sent me anything to try. I feel so blessed and grateful. And I always kind of answer this at the top of any PR unboxing, but I do not use everything. I kind of pick out what I'm interested in using, or I kind of go off what you guys say in the comment section, what you're interested in me talking about more. And then everything else I do give to friends and family. And I also take a lot of stuff to my local women's shelter. So I make sure everything gets used and nothing goes to waste. And yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so this is in no particular order, and if I'm speaking quickly, it's because I literally have 20 minutes to go through all of these products and boxes, so I'm gonna literally be rapid firing these, and again, if you guys see anything you want more information on, definitely leave it in the comment section down below. I did go to a Nutrium event last week. They are now available at Ulta, so they gave us these little parting gifts. So I got a couple of skincare products to try. I haven't used Nutrium in a while, so I've got the Fido Glow Lip Balm. Looks like a sheer sunscreen and a niacinamide serum plus zinc. So if you guys want me to try some Nutrium again, I'm definitely down. We've got Pixie here. This is so cute. They sent like an after sun package. So we've got an end of day cleansing oil. We have an after sun sheet mask set, which I might need this because I'm going on a bachelorette this weekend. So I'll be in the sun a little bit more, definitely wearing sun protection, but in case I'll have these. I got a couple packages from this brand Soam and these are very interesting to me. They're these like micro needling patches and I've been testing a couple of these out like different brands and different styles. I haven't quite decided how I feel about them yet. So this is another brand that sent me some products to try. So it looks like they sent over some products to keep my hair out of my face and then we have the rejuvenate and fill microneedle patches. As I've gotten older I've been very interested in this type of skincare technology. I am so excited about this because this is up my alley when it comes to my makeup preferences. This is from A Cosmetics. It is their new sun blushes which these are like creamy glowy blush type of products that act as not only like a blush but also kind of as like a I won't, I won't say bronzer, but just sheer color to the face. So I got two shades of this. I got Sunray 40 and then Sun Glaze 50. So I got two shades and then it looks like the brush that you use to apply these products with. This is so fun. Nicki Minaj has her own nails, like press on nails. And so they let me pick out a couple designs. It's called Pink Friday. And so I got these ones, which have kind of like a cherry style to the tip of them. I don't know what style these are, but I got the ones with the cherries on them and then I got these ones which are like stiletto, almost like holographic chrome type of nails. So as you can see, I'm a big fan of like press on nails. I have been for a while, so I'm gonna try Nicki Minaj's brand. I love this brand here. This is the brand Good Light and it is Asian owned and so they sent over, it looks like a little gua sha tool. And then also this I'm very excited about because it's formulated for sensitive skin. So this is the alphabet oil and it says it's a multivitamin for your skin. It's a super treatment that's lightweight, non greasy, and has moisturizing vitamins A, B5, C, E, and ferulic acid. So sounds like it'll be good for like hyperpigmentation, but also good for those who have sensitive skin. So like I said, I'm very excited to try this. This is a new product from Nude Sticks, and I am so excited about this because again, I love these type of like blush products. It says snap, stack, and go. Can I open this? Oh, whoa! gosh there's like wow whoa this is so cool okay I won't go through all of them obviously because there's a bunch of shades of these but it looks like these are like blush products whoa they are creamy they feel so like soft and velvety so with like a magnetic lid and then it looks like what you can do with these is like stack them on top of each other so very cool I am super excited to try these it looks like they have not only blush shades, but they also have these like bronzer shades. New from Elf Cosmetics, we have the Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. So we all know of the Power Grip Primer, which you know is like a very similar, more high-end brand. And now they have the Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. I actually do like the milk makeup version of this. So I'm curious to see how this compares. So we're gonna see if we got some dupes here or good standalone products or what we got going on from Elf. This brand, Urban Skin RX, I don't think I've ever tried anything from them. So they sent over some skincare products to try. We have the Even Tone Cleansing Bar. And we also have 
It looks like an AM PM serum. It's the Youth Hero Alpha Arbutin and a 1% retinoid. And then we have the Complexion Protection Moisturizer. So you have your retinoid, then your protection during the day. I am so excited about this because this, when I heard it, sounded like it was going to be right up my alley. So this is from Sniff. And this is the new Monet collab. So it says Step Into Your Rose Era. I'm a big floral fan. I love floral. I love rose. I love warmer scents. So this is the new Rose Era perfume from Sniff. And I gotta say, I've worn this a couple times. I do like it. I'm not sure if I feel like it's a very elevated scent, but day to day I feel like it's nice. So I'm going to keep trying this out. I definitely like it, and Sniff is definitely a more affordable perfume brand. So if you like floral, kind of warmer scents, I think you would definitely like this. Oh, yes, we have a ton of stuff from Beauty Blender. I actually dug into this because I needed another Beauty Blender, so I've pulled that out and I've been using it. Um, but they sent me a little welcome box for the UB Collective, and so there's a bunch of Beauty Blender goodies in here. We've got the Power Pocket Puff. I have not tried this. The Solid Lavender Cleanser, which I just ran out of mine. And then we've got some other Beauty Blender products. We have the little container with the Beauty Blender inside to keep it nice and sanitized. And then this I'm actually really excited to try. This is the Bounce Skin Tint. I really liked Beauty Blender's foundation back in the day and then they discontinued it. So I am curious to try their makeup products again. It looks like we have a primer and a setting spray. So I will be giving all of these a go because like I said, I love that foundation and I was so sad when it's discontinued. So I hope these are very similar. Ooh, so this must be new from LMS. This is the Pro Collagen Future Restore Serum. It says it's an advanced firming complex. Opal Skin Algae Complex. So some new new from Elemis. I just got this in from Morphe. This is the brow tea that it looks like they sent over pretty much every single shade. So it's supposed to be easy to comb, a rich formula, and a brow boosting effect. It's $10, so it's a very affordable brow product. So I'm gonna have to go through here and pick out my color and try it out. I'm usually not a fan of these like tinted brow mascaras, but I feel like I'm slowly converting. Oh, this, okay, so I, I mean, like everyone else, I'm a big fragrance fan, and so I have some of my favorite fragrances from Ellis Brooklyn, and so this is the Apple Love. I haven't tried this one yet, so maybe come fall time, this would be a really good scent, and then they also sent over their body spray, which I have not tried. This is the fragrance Body Mist in the scent peaches and oh my gosh I did get this guy a little sniff oh very yummy vitamins and sea beauty we have some skincare in here and again these are from these this is a little welcome box for the Ulta Beauty Collective so I have not tried this brand I'm gonna have to familiarize myself with this but they did send over their sea kelp hyaluronic acid bouncy sleep mask that sounds good and then the Blue Sea Kale Niacinamide Serum. So we have RMS Beauty actually reached out to me on Instagram and I have not tried anything from them, but I'm intrigued because this seems like a brand I would really like. So I'm hoping that these match my skin because I did get the chance to pick out the Uncover Up Corrector, which I've been dying to try it. It's been like, it's a pot concealer. And so I love these types of products because for my dry skin they're very natural and oftentimes I find I don't have to set it so we'll see if that's the same with this guy here. I got it in the shade 225 or 22.5 and then they also sent over their living luminizer and then this lip lights in there. BK Beauty sent over some brushes for me to try and I'm very excited about these because I've been trying to up my brush game. I feel like all my brushes at this point are old. So they sent over their core extension eye set and then their core extension face set. And then we got some, looks like foundation style brushes here, some tapered ones, which look like they're gonna be nice for cream foundations, concealers, all that kind of good stuff. So I've got some new brushes from BK Beauty. I'm excited about these. Okay, I haven't tried anything from About Face and I, I like policy. So her makeup looks super fun. It looks, welcome to the Ulta Collective, looks bright, vibrant and I'll get to experiment with a lot of different colors so they sent over just like a ton of products I've got the matte fix lip pencil we've got the smoke stick we've got some eyeliners shadow stick all kinds of really nice looking products this one I'm excited about the cheek freak blush bombs so I got a ton of stuff here to try from them so maybe I should do like a full video or maybe a TikTok trying them out 
let me know because I have no experience with this. So it would definitely be a first impressions. Ooh, these are a very intriguing brand. So this is from Vacation, which by the way, I love Vacation by Vacation, their fragrance. And I did not realize they had makeup products and I love their style. It's very much like 80s-esque, 90s-esque. So we got the Shake Shake SPF, we have the Shake Shake SPF 50 Mineral Milk, the Studio Tone Bronze, and then we got a Super Stick sunscreen stick these are so cute i love the packaging of these so i will definitely give these a go we have some more lms products and i think that these this was like the welcome set from the ulta beauty collective through lms and so we got some like four lms products in here i have tried lms in the past and i do like their skincare products so we have the dynamic resurfacing facial pads the pore collagen cleansing balm which is one of my favorites and then we also have their Pro Collagen Marine Cream SPF 30. By the way, if you can hear Kitty meowing in the background, my kitten is trying to get in, but I'm trying to go through this quickly. And if she's in here, I'm like trying to avoid hitting her with boxes and things. So it's driving her crazy, but it's for her own good. We have Kiss has sent me a ton of lashes lately. So we have their Rebel line, which are kind of a more dramatic lash. So they sent over a couple different styles with some lash glue. But I also know that in here I have their new natural lashes, which I've dug into a couple of these. And these are like very pretty wispy style lashes. So they sent over a bunch of styles to try. I normally go for like Japanese lashes, but some of these look like I'll be able to wear them without them looking too heavy since they're more natural. So I love their wispies like everyone else. So I like that they kind of extended that for this line. Our Miss Beauty. Oh, so this is this is exciting. So this is their um, legendary serum lipsticks, which I have, I have not tried these either. And so they sent over, oops, they're all, they're in there. I'm just gonna, oh, okay, here. I've not tried these either. Serum lipsticks sound beautiful and sounds like a lovely formula, so. ColourPop. Okay, I don't wanna get too much of this. Should I do a full video? This is their new collab and these products look super cute. We'll save that and I'll see if you guys want me to do a full video of that in the comment section. We have Ula Henriksen here and this is the new, I saw this on social media. This is the Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment and the scent is Creme Brulee. Prada sent me a perfume to try and it is their Virtual Flower. So again, I love a floral fragrance. I'm not sure, I, I did give this guy like a little testy smell but I haven't worn it on my skin yet. So I'm going to have to see what it smells like on my skin, but I love product fragrances. Yeah, that one's very floral. So if you like floral, maybe look into this, but I got to try it on my skin first, see how it works my skin chemistry. You guys, we have new from M Cosmetics. They reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to try this, and I was immediately like, yes, because look how ethereal and beautiful this looks. This is the Divine Water Perfecting Mist. This looks great, so I'm gonna have to give this a go. Even the formula kind of looks like the Laneige cream skin, which I really like, so I feel like that's gonna be good for my dry skin. Super Goop, which is perfect time for summer. How cute is this PR package? Oh, and then we have all of their unseen sunscreen sticks. Well, at least this one's the unseen sunscreen stick, the glow stick, and then we have the mineral sheer stick, which is new. So maybe this will be a little bit more matte for those of you guys who like something that's not as shiny looking, because I definitely say the glow stick looks a little luminous, if you know what I mean. We have Fenty Beauty here. This is huge and heavy. <laughs> so we have Rihanna's favorite lip link ups, but up here, do you guys see this? Okay. <laughs> we have their new pencil lip liners in like all of the shades. And then, these are the new Gloss Bomb Sticks, High Shine Gloss Sticks, oh, right here. My arms are not strong enough for this, but I think I might do a full swatching video on these, because these look great, and I want to see how these look on my skin tone, so thank you Fenty for sending me this, because I am so excited for this. I am such a mess right now. Okay, first of all, I noticed my phone wasn't plugged in, so hopefully the audio wasn't terrible, and I definitely realized you're going to have heard my cat yelling in the background. I did not make it under 20 minutes, so I had to stop hop on a call, and now I'm back. So I'm very close to the end though, so we're gonna finish this off strong. So hopefully you guys like long. <laughs> we have our boxings. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know I had this. Another Fenty. Okay, so we have 
a bunch of their pudding, plush pudding intensive lip recovery mask here, which I definitely need. My lips are super chapped. I just traveled this weekend, so like my skin's out of whack, my lips are out of whack, everything is struggling. So it looks like I've got some fun drop hydrating body milk to also help me recover. Whoa, that's a pretty box. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. These are from Winky Lux. These are the Cheeky Rose. It says they're liquid highlighters and then liquid sculpt and liquid, is there blushes? Yeah, liquid blush. Okay, these are freaking beautiful. And then we have some of these flower bombs, which I remember these from a couple years ago, I wanna say, but it looks like they have a bunch of different flavors. The watermelon jelly, these are pH lip balms, so they're kind of color adjusting, so they're very versatile when it comes to skin tones. I haven't used Winky Lux in a while. I am a big fan of them. I've worked with them in the past and have enjoyed their products, so I'm excited to try these because I have actually not tried these like rose products and they look beautiful. Tower 28 also reached out and wanted to know if I wanted to try some of their products. I do love Tower 28 and have used their products before so I am excited because I have not tried their, what is this, the Sunny Days? This is kind of like a skin tint but also with SPF 30 and Tower 20 is one of those brands that they are sensitive skin friendly, hence why I like them. So we have the mascara, we have the serum concealer, I got shade 7 K-Town. We have the Beach Please, I love this. I think I might have this blush color, so I'll have to get this one. And then we have the lip jelly and the tinted lip treatment. I'm a big fan of First Aid Beauty and I have been seeing a lot of their marketing online for like the anti chief stick. I am excited to try their newer products. This is great because it's good for sensitive skin types again, which I have. So they sent a huge box nourishing body oil of some of their skincare products, the bronze and glow drops with niacinamide. I have been using First Aid Beauty for years, so I'm excited to not only get some of my favorite products again, but also try some of their new ones. Claire all sent over a box, total retouch up. Now my mom uses this, but also I found my first gray a couple months ago. So. <sighs> Last box. <laughs> So it looks like we have a ton of Pacifica products. Glow Baby Glow, Coconut Milk Detangle. My hair is so tangly, so I always need something like this. Glow Baby Lip Balm. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. We've got some Future Youth serums, Bryo Globes, and the Reusable Mask Brow, which I have one of these, but it's always nice to have a backup one because you gotta wash these. So anyways, guys, that is my PR unboxing. I have a lot of cleaning up to do, a lot of sorting, but a big thank you again to the brands for gifting me these products to try. I, again, like I said at the beginning of this video, always feel so blessed because brands are so generous, and then I get to share them with not only friends and family, but also take a bunch to the women's shelter, and they're always so excited to see the products that I bring. So a big thank you, and I hope you guys enjoyed just hanging out with me for a little bit, and as always, hope you guys are happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.